Project Zomboid is a game where the main threat lies in the zombie itself, particularly the numerous hordes that could tear you apart in mere seconds. But what if instead of a lot of zombies being the threat, it was just one? Which comes at a cost, as this zombie is the strongest possible one I could have created. Just to describe a few features about this zombie, it has superhuman strength, is immortal, it can vault fences, and is capable of sprinting relentlessly towards its target. And the most important feature, this zombie knows where I'm going to be at at all times. There is no actual way to escape the zombie, as it's always going to be tracking me down no matter how far I run or how complex my traps are. It will always be there to make me paranoid about every single bump in the night. Anyways, welcome to the hunted challenge for Project Zomboid. The stakes are going to be high, the resources low, and the fear at a max. The goal for this run is quite simple. Visit every single spawning town and escape through the Louisville Bridge. I'll be honest, I don't think this run is going to last for long at all. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. You know, I feel pretty bad putting the same person through so many different and difficult challenges. But welcome everyone to the Hunted Challenge for Project Zomboid, joined by Trash himself. And the first thing I'm going to do before I do anything else is pause the game, because we are on a bit of a time limit, but I'll get to that in a minute. For now, let's introduce our character and our stats. Anyways, this is Trash, a familiar face, but with a new little bit added on to him as he is being hunted down by one singular super zombie. And in order to increase my chances of survival, I took a few character traits, namely the security guard profession, athletic, keen hearing, runner, cat eyes, night owl, slow reader, cowardly, weak stomach, prone to illness, slow learner, with the last trait being schizophrenia. Now you might be asking yourself, what does schizophrenia do? And that's pretty simple. On top of having to look out for one zombie that will appear out of nowhere that will try to kill me, I'm gonna have to deal with a bunch of false positives and red herrings while I'm just trying to survive, which should hopefully keep me on my toes, and if nothing else, will jump scare the hell out of me. But yeah, if I look outside, there is no other zombie for miles. There's only one? I don't know where the, he's right here. He is right there. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that is our guy. As you see, he can literally hop fences better than I. I am actually about to die. So I'm going to have to lose him before I describe anything else about this challenge. Holy, could you give me a minute to like describe the challenge at least, man? All right, here's the plan. We're going to run right back inside. I'm just going to walk away from... He just opened the door. Okay, that is not fair, sir. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Um. Oh, oh, oh. He. Why, why can't he open doors? That is... That is not... Okay. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, we're going to try and lose him. Now, this is a good time to describe the way the hunter works. For one, the hunter can spawn randomly around my area in a set interval. And right now I have it set between 20 in-game minutes to around two hours, right? And whenever that time actually procs, he spawns within the area. And it's up to hunted trash here to use my guile and wit in order to outrun him. And if I get a certain distance away, he will despawn, giving me another grace period in order to get you know, in order to catch my breath. <laughs> and right now, we need a haul. He's probably still on my back, so we are going to run, hop around some more fence lines, try and break uh, line of sight as much as possible, and hopefully, I'll be able to introduce this whole challenge properly. But yeah, that is, that is our guy. He's going to be following us for a long, long, long time. But the good thing is that we are faster than him. So as long as I don't get jumped and caught uh, with my guard off, we should be okay. I'm gonna run around this last fence line, and we should be alright. Holy crap. What a start to this challenge. We're gonna run a little bit further. I'm gonna head inside this building here, and we're gonna lock the damn doors. <laughs> Let me in, please. Oh god, I, I, I don't feel safe outside right now. Okay. Locked. We're gonna shut the curtains, even though that won't do much. And I can 
kind of tell you my game plan. And in order to do that, we're going to pull out our map and pause the game because I don't want him tracking me down right now. I've already ran around like a headless chicken. But yeah, aside from just surviving, our whole goal for this challenge is to visit every single spawning town and finally making it all the way over to Louisville. If we can do that, we can actually beat this challenge. And right now, Trash is in Riverside. And before I even think about moving over to, let's say, Rosewood, Muldraw, or West Point, I need a few things. For one, I need food and supplies, which seems to be taken care of right here. Two, I need a weapon to actually stun this freak of nature. And three, I need a bag, with the last one being a vehicle. I need a vehicle to get from point A to point B. Now I will say, because of the lack of zombies around the area, I did make a uh, loot extremely rare, which should make it a little bit more balanced as I can literally move anywhere without too much of a threat as long as I can keep my eyes on and or trap the one zombie. So yeah, that's my way of balancing it out. And that's also me saying that looting a lot of these homes aren't going to be too useful. But yeah, we have chips. And right now, I think our best bet is to make our way all the way down to the school so I can maybe get a bag and a couple of weapons from the lockers. We're gonna keep our eyes out and we are gonna move slowly and methodically to make sure I don't get jumped from any angle. This is gonna be a fun challenge. I am really feeling this. Oh, one last thing. We are spawning in six months later with the worst vehicle condition mod. So this means finding a vehicle is gonna be extremely hard. As you see, the mod works pretty well in making a lot of vehicles useless because this van has a useless engine and no gasoline within its tank. Also, with the six months later preset that I have, uh, finding car batteries is gonna be pretty difficult unless I find a charger or get lucky with just finding one from a potential survivor event. So yeah, on top of all the loot, finding a working vehicle is going to be pretty hard as well. But this vehicle does have a key in the ignition, which is something I will mark down. If I had a pencil, that is. What else do we have here? Nothing. How does the trunk look? Really damn good. Matter of fact, the only thing I need for this car to work is a good condition battery with juice left and a gas tank. And by gas tank, I mean gasoline. I am so sorry if I'm not like describing things well because uh, that first interaction was rough on me. But we have escaped because I don't see him chasing me anymore, which gives me a lot of time to, to, to catch my breath, look around a little bit and maybe get a weapon to just hold him off. Now I will say the zombie is immortal, so whenever I smack him with a weapon, it's not gonna do too much to him, but the one thing it will do is give me a chance to escape if he corners me or catches me off guard, which is something that I would greatly appreciate. So let's see if we have anything good down here in terms of a weapon. We have a saw, which is universally good, especially after the trailer park challenge, some welding rods, another saw, a single club hammer, which is the best weapon we're going to have. Not the best for the situation, as he can push me away and just completely bully me. And the range is very low on it, which makes it kind of a gamble. But it's all we have right now. We also have nothing else, actually. Okay, you know what? I'll take a single hammer and a saw. Up next, I think we actually go check out the school. Slowly and steadily, keeping an eye on my back and on all of my corners, but still maintaining a pretty decent pace so I don't get caught, you know. So I don't get caught surprised, just like how I would if I got jumped right now. This truck does not have anything useful, and it's the same for this vehicle as well. It's fine. I'm not really too worried about finding a vehicle in the first episode, even though it would be extremely nice. All I want right now is a nice water bottle and maybe, just maybe, a bag, which I'm hoping we get here. So let's see what we got inside. I'm going to keep the doors locked, by the way, because uh, I, I, I am actually terrified of this guy. <laughs> if we see him... We are going to have to find the nearest exit and hope to God he doesn't catch up to me. Let's see what we have around the area, though. We have nothing in the vending machines, a very gross looking water dispenser with still drinkable water, though. A nice blue pen, which I can go ahead and use to mark down stuff on my map. Some crayons, which is an even better pen. I'll just drop that on the floor then. A rotten peach. 
Oh god, the zombie's nearby. You can tell. Oh, yep, he's right there. Okay, okay, okay. Which way is he gonna go? He's gonna go around? Oh, <laughs> all right. Oh man, he's not giving me any time to get away. That's fine. I can run away really quick. I can hop over a fence and hopefully I can come back when the coast is clear. The one good thing is that I know he's pursuing me right now because of the Panic Moodle. I think if the Panic Moodle goes away completely, we know he's gone. So that is extremely nice, actually. And the way I am gonna, you know, kick him off my trail is by hopping this fence here. Please climb over properly and running around the neighborhood in order to come back later. Holy crap, this is not good for my heart. And judging from the lack of panic, I think we lost him. I'm going to go head back to the school after I briefly loot this area to see if there's anything helpful for me. With there being, uh, actually nothing. Oh, I also got the climbable, uh, the, the, the climbable counters mod, which should make escaping him through certain, uh, storefronts a lot easier and a lot less cheesy. But yeah, there was nothing inside that house. So we are gonna head our way back all the way over towards the school, checking out this vehicle as well, because I am always on the lookout for a decent battery. That, that right there has 5.1 condition. I can't remove it just right now because I need a screwdriver. But if I can get one, we might be able to get a vehicle soon. Uh, let me, aw, oh, damn it, the trunk is locked. That's fine though. I am actually gonna go mark down this little car right here, right now, just so I remember it. With a nice electrical symbol. That way I can always retrace my steps and actually use my map properly. I'm actually really happy with the fact that I'm gonna have to use my map pretty often with how limited resources are and how bad it can get very quickly but I'm gonna take it real slow, re-entering this place, locking all of the doors from the outside, just in case, and we can slowly start to loot this school. And already, we found a school bag with something nice inside, with a jar of glass marbles. It might be useful later, right now it's not really that cool, but I'll take it. Let's see what else we have inside this place now. We have another school bag on the floor with nothing inside it. A pair of scissors, an eraser, a singular book that might actually save my life with how bad depression can get with the weapon switch outs. And that seems to be it for the lockers on the first story. Let's go check out the cafeteria now, as I am getting pretty hungry. And by the way, when I meant the loot was extremely rare, I meant it, because the only real food we found so far is a singular cockroach. Um, nothing else. Nothing more. Actually, never mind. We did find the bags of chips, but those came in from a party event, so you really can't, you know, clock them in the same... Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I, I heard that window <laughs> shatter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice try, buddy. Yeah, so he's going to be following me. The one good thing is that I won't need to worry about him, uh... I won't need to worry about this guy following me and tracking me down in my sleep, as if he's not spawned in, he can't attack me while I am asleep, which is fantastic. Um, or else this challenge would quite literally be impossible with how relentless this bozo is. I don't even know where he is, by the way. I think I might have ran far enough away for him to despawn again. The limit is 75 tiles, and if I'm able to make that distance, uh, I'm, I'm usually safe, so I think we're good. So I'm gonna hop right back in and go check out the rest of the cafeteria. So yeah, um, managing it isn't that bad as long as I'm on my toes. It's just, no, he's definitely still there and he is smashing down a door. I don't know why he isn't opening it. Maybe it's a push and he thinks it's a pull. We're gonna leave him in the cafeteria and I'm gonna go explore around the other parts of the school. Matter of fact, I might go like move in a couple of trash cans here just to make sure he doesn't get any bright ideas. <laughs> yeah, he's not moving from that spot. He's going to be stuck knocking on that for hopefully the rest of the duration of today. Try to get out of that one, bozo. And hopefully this zombie is going to be knocking on that door for the rest of the day while I go and loot the rest of this school area. He should be distracted on it, but I will know very quickly if he isn't because I will stop hearing the knocking. So we're, we're, we're pretty safe right now is what I'm trying to say, which gives me a lot of room to check out what's out around here. So you know what? I'm going to be a cheeky little bugger 
and I'm gonna go check out the back uh, kitchen area just to make sure there isn't any food for me. And it looks like there's nothing for me. By the way, he is kind of stupid, but also smart at the same time. Also very nice uh, leopard or cheetah print underwear, sir. I'm gonna leave you up there, knocking at that door thinking I'm on the other side, while I, Trash, goes around and loots the entirety of the school. But yeah, I can kind of trap him in that regard to where he's just stuck behind one door if he doesn't know how to open them, which he definitely did in the first 30 seconds, but I'll take it as it is right now. <laughs> Let's see what we have in the gymnasium, which hopefully is a baseball bat. We have nothing. Okay, let's go check out the top story of the school and see what else there is to offer around here. He's still knocking at that door. Beautiful. Anyways, we have another garbage bag, a loose notebook, a word search magazine, another pair of scissors, cooking volume one and fishing volume one, which I'm not going to take because I don't think I'm going to be doing a lot of those while being hunted down and pursued by a singular zombie. A full bag of chips, electrician volume 2, and a singular padlock, which would have been cool if it wasn't just for containers and it was used for actual entrances and exits. But yeah, I feel pretty safe right now, despite Trash being extremely panicked due to just being in the vicinity of this scary, scary monster, hearing the banging of the door makes me feel like I can relax a little bit, and I think we're going to camp out here for the rest of the night. It's 7.20 p.m. We have enough food and supplies to go around just a tiny bit, so I'm not worried about that. And really, as long as I hear his knocking, we won't have to worry about getting jumped while sleeping. So right now, I might go set up a nice little location for me to sleep out in, somewhere preferably near a bunch of, uh of exits with a barricade set up just in case, and I can kind of describe what I'm going to be doing in order to escape this place, because I need quite the laundry list of things in order to do just that. Also, I forgot to loot these last two uh, classrooms here, so let me do that as well. In which we have another school bag, which is darker and thus more drippier, which I will take. Ooh, and even better, yeah, a spiffo bag. <laughs> oh, that's going to be an easy yoink from me. And lastly, we have a garbage bag inside. Who would have guessed it? A garbage bin. Not, not, not the best loot, I'll be honest. The cockroach is probably the highlight of the day. Actually, the saw is pretty huge as well. But the zombie's still knocking on the door. And right now, in order to set up a decent shelter for myself, I need one of two things. One, a comfortable sleeping spot. And two, a place with exits. And right now, I think our best chance of getting a, a safe place is going to be this little branch here in the second story, as there's only one entrance in with no other ways of entering. And if worst comes to worst, I can always jump out the window very majestically. So yeah, I also need a comfortable sleeping spot. And if we head all the way down into the break lounge area, there should be a pretty nice couch for me to steal. So, you know, we're not going to be living in a complete squalor. <laughs> Sorry about the laughing. That was uh, Trash laughing to himself about the situation, I'm sure. I'm also very surprised in the door lasting that long. But yeah, I'm really excited about this uh, challenge. I think it's going to be really fun to try and figure out what the hell is going to be our best plan. And it's going to have to bring out the real, uh, the real survivor in me, especially with the lack of resources. But yeah, once we got this couch, we can go slap it down somewhere, set up a barricade, and then mark down our future plans. Oh, and one last thing. Uh, I do want my uh, sleeping spot to be close enough to the monster in order to be within earshot of it hitting the door, just so I know it's there. Because as soon as I don't hear it knocking at the door, I know I'm in danger. I think right here is going to be pretty good. As we're in eyesight of the main hallway, once I barricade that up, we have a nice little enclosed area, and more importantly, there are two escape hatches. And by escape hatches, I mean windows. So I'm going to set it up right in front of the American flag. Hopefully that will be my protective charm in these trying times. And the last thing I'm going to do 
is set up a quick little desk barricade, which is going to be pretty easy when we are currently in a school. Bam. That's a pretty good barricade, and it's right in front of our door. Now, Trash is pretty hungry and pretty thirsty, so we're going to take a quick little swig of water. Thankfully, the electricity and water still work because I'm not a complete masochist, and not having those on top of the lack of resources and food would have been terrible for me. The last thing I will place down is one last desk right in front of our door, which can work as the last safety net. That way, he can't just open it up if he starts to realize he has opposable thumbs once again. Bada bam. Now I feel pretty safe. I hear his banging, and now I can actually describe what I'm gonna be doing later. It's 10 p.m. by the way, so this is a pretty good first day. Aside from getting, you know, jumped within the first two minutes of the challenge. Trash is right here, and from the information I collected today, the school is now, bop 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 bop, cleared out. It is also one of the safer locations the only other piece of information we do have is a vehicle. Oh my god! What the f- <laughs> Oh my- oh, oh, I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna pause the game while I go through the map. Oh my- Why the metal- I- I- Why was it the metal- The damn metal bar? Why? <laughs> I'm, I, I already regret adding in that damn mod, man. But yeah, we have a car with a battery that I could potentially use to 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 to, to, to shmangle something up together. OK, we still need a car key. Actually, uh, if I remember correctly, we did find another decent car in the in the school parking lot. I might have to look back at this episode afterwards to figure it out. But yeah, we have uh, a battery. I need a gasoline receptacle and I need gasoline in general. And right now, next episode, I think we pay a small little visit bop, 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 over towards the Gigamart. And once we're done looting the Gigamart, uh, these these rich homes over here, which 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 have garages, which might have a screwdriver. But lastly, the thing that I really want is a flashlight. The electricity is still going on right now, which is fantastic for me, uh, but it's going to go out sometime. And I also have one last surprise mod that will really make me wish I had a flashlight. So yeah, number one, screwdriver, number two, flashlight, number three, gasoline. I think that's going to be our plan tomorrow. And as soon as I sleep here and wake up, we are going to hit the ground running. Anyways, this is the hunted challenge. I will be leaving the uh, challenge description, all of my settings and the mods I'm running down in the description below. Be sure to like, favorite, share and subscribe for more. Also, check out my Twitch channel. Anyways, I will see all of you in the next episode on when we try to get all of the components needed to survive a little bit longer. Peace the hell out, everyone.